What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing the new DLC for Pokemon Scarlet, it's the Indigo Disc, I'm getting a call, this is Clavel, do I have the pleasure of speaking with Master Z-Dog, you do, hi Director Clavel. And uh, by the way, thank you guys for your support, the first episode of the series has over a million views, I think it's 1.4 million views, and that is all thanks to you leaving over 24,000 likes, that's a lot, I do appreciate it. Thanks for returning to this series for the DLC. My, my, it certainly does this old heart good to be greeted with such a lively response. Now, if I could take but a moment of your time, there is something we must discuss. Master Z-Dog, you're about to be presented with an exceptional opportunity. You already know of the Unova region's Blueberry Academy, I presume. Of course, I don't. Well, I should have said, what's that? <laughs> Indeed, tales of your school trip to Kitakami with the Blueberry cohort reached even my office. In any case, the director of Blueberry Academy happens to be an old friend of mine, and he told me that he would be delighted to host you as an exchange student at his school. I believe it would be a fine chance for you to learn even more about the world. One should always take advantage of new challenges like this, don't you think? Though I must confess I was a bit surprised that Blueberry's director would specify you by name. Still... I think it's best that you meet the man at least once to find out what he might be thinking. He is, he is admittedly a bit of a character, but not to worry. I'll be there with you when you meet him. Once you feel ready to respond to his offer, I ask that you come by my office so we can discuss the specifics together. Now, I won't take up any more of your time. Do take care until we speak again. So, I'm all decked out in, uh, you know, this, this clothing here because I was in this world. And right now, my current roster, I got O-Dog, A-Dog, T-Dog, Raichu, H-Dog, and B-Dog on my team. A pretty cool team. Now, uh, I do... Uh, how do I do it? I think if I go over... Is it the Poke Portal? This is the download... Of, this is what I'm playing right now. The Indigo Disc. Part of the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. I don't know why I would click this. Uh, I guess... Oh, new uniform set. Not yet received. Uh, yeah, let me get my new stuff. I didn't even know. I didn't even know to do this. I just did it. What do we get? Show me. Show me. <laughs> All right. I got it. I got some apparel. Great. Now, how do I put it on? I don't remember how to put it on, but uh, that's okay. We'll figure things out really quick. Um... Pokey Portal? Is this where I do mystery codes? Because there's a little code that's been um, get with a code password. I think my battery's not gonna run out. It's plugged in. This is for a shiny Lucario, and uh, it's the code Shiny Buddy with a one instead of an I. And uh, so I think this is how you do it. So shiny. Buddy, this may or may not work. This may not work. This may not. This isn't it. This isn't it. Unless it is. Is this it? It is it. I, I thought since it didn't fill up the thing, it wouldn't work. But it works. I got a shiny Lucario gift, and uh, so there we go. There's one gift. We're starting off today's episode with gifts for me. There he is. Looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Now, I'm sure there's a limited time in which you can collect this type of stuff, so get on it. It's a fighting steal. Um, Lucario's data has been added to the Pokédex. Great. I, I didn't even have a Lucario before, but now I have one. So, great. Uh, also, there's a couple more. And uh, I don't know if I want to do them all, but there is like another one here. This one is called... A uh, new moon is coming, but we're talking about spelling them with O's, which makes sense because the the I and O letters are uh, are are censored. No. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> it's like where's the O? That's right. This one's also is with a zero. Okay, there we go. See, I was getting thrown off here. Here we go. Now check this out. New moon is coming. And check this out. This is going to be for a mythical Pokemon Dark Rai gift. Now you can use these codes too, just like I am. And uh, actually, my friend Mouse is the one who told me about these codes. I heard about the shiny Lucario. I didn't hear about the other ones. So look at that guy. 
Look at that guy. Will I ever use him? I don't know. But he's pretty cool. Will I use Shiny Lucario? I don't know. I'm happy with my party right now. There's two more coats. And so, uh, let's go ahead and do those as well. This next one is just Team Star. This one's super simple to use. Team Star. How hard is that? Not hard at all. And what does this give you? This gives you a special rubber room with a mark ribbon. And then there's one more, see you in Paldea for a special gimmick goal. So, fun way to start the episode, I would say. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna be using all of these, but these are great gifts to have. And then, uh, multi-cycle Pokemon, ooh, interesting. Um, Steel Poison. What level are these coming in at? I didn't even get to see. And then, last but not least, see you in Paldea. We're gonna do this. I will I will check for mystery gifts anyway, just to see uh, if there's anything just hanging out there. But C-Y-O-U, but zero U. See you in Paldea. All right, see you in Paldea. Another great gift coming through. And then we will talk to Director Clavel or whatever. Give me a gold gift. Also with the Mark Ribbon, apparently, so. Coming down from the sky. Again, I don't know if, if I don't see anything that makes me want to like really change up my party, but. All right, welcome home to me. Let's go check in with the director and see about this Blueberry Academy dude who wants to recruit me. Uh, I think I'm gonna swap in Lucario. He's coming into level 75. I think I'm gonna take T-Dog, get rid of him, put in Lucario. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I think it makes sense. Let's take a look really quick if I can, or is it just gonna automatically put me into... There it is, who is this? Hmm, who do we have here? You tell me. I know I've seen your face somewhere before. Who were you again? The name Z-Dog. Oh, that's right, you're Z-Dog. Yes, yes, I know you. Well then, now that you're here, let's get going. Wait, wait just a moment, Director Serrano? There we go. Oh, hello there, Veli. <laughs> Veli, you're as lively as always. Didn't realize you were here. Of course I'm here as director of this academy. Where else would I be? And do address me more properly while students are present, would you? <laughs> more importantly, what are you doing out here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my office. Did we? Must have slipped my mind. Anyway, what, what's it matter? This is a student, right? Well, yes, he is, but... Uh, I do apologize, Master Z-Dog. You must be terribly confused. This is Director Serrano of Blueberry Academy. As, as I mentioned on the phone, he's interested in accepting you as an exchange student. Yep, that's me, Director Serrano. Or, I, did I not mention that? One look at our young friend here makes me suspect you indeed failed to clarify that point. Speaking of which, why did you request Master Z-Dog specifically to take part in your exchange program? Excellent question, Veli. It's very simple. You see, the reason is... Mm hmm Why did I put in that request? Oh, that's right. The school trip to Kitakami. Z-Dog met some of my students there, didn't he? That's right. Yes, yes. One of them was named Carmine, I believe. She's the one who recommended you. Perfect. Carmine. Then I've got to meet you for myself. Yeah, I got a good feeling about you. Oh-ho, I'm glad to hear that, Director Serrano. Me too. Holy cow, me too. You guys are great. <laughs> All right, I'd just love for you to visit my school. Would you take a... Would, you would be a breath of fresh air, so to speak. Well, if anything can be said about Director Serrano, it's that he has got a keen eye for talent. I would be thrilled if you went to Blu-ray Ac Academy and got to know the students there. But only if you're willing to, of course. Don't force me. Don't force me to go. Think of it as a chance to further expand upon your treasure hunt. Oh, yeah, I wish I could accompany Master Z-Dog, but I'm afraid I must ask you to watch over him in my stead. Steed? Stead? I don't know. You will watch over him, won't you? Ha! <laughs> oh, of course. I never let anything happen to one of your students. I hope this experience leads you to even more you can treasure. Best of luck to you. All right, great. 
Just give me a holler whenever you're ready to head to my Blueberry Academy. Uh, let's holler. Let's go. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to kick off your studies abroad at Blueberry Academy? Yes. Let's go. Great, then let's get going. I'm ready. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Will I get a new uniform or something? I don't even know. Here we go. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. This is part two. As far as I know, the last part. The Indigo Disc. So let's see what this part's all about. Probably would take me a few episodes to beat it all the way through. Oh, this looks interesting. Ta-da! We're here. Great. Welcome to my grand Blueberry Academy. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right. This is actually just the entrance. The school itself is mostly underwater. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and did you notice? Look at how blue the place is. I can't tell tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. That looks good, dude. You did great. Let's see. What else? Hmm. Uh, perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me? Uh, why is the rest of the school underwater? Really? That's what you're curious about? Well, it's very simple. You see, it's, uh... It's because the school building is attached to an undersea plant that develops natural resources, right? That's what I've heard. Yes, right, exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? Oh, no, it was nothing. Do we have a guest today? We do. Z-Dog is here as part of the exchange program. Make him feel welcome, huh? Hold on. This is the exchange student from the Paldea region? I suppose I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Lacey, one of the second year students here. You must really be something special, you know. It's rare for Director Serrano to remember the name of a new student. Ha! <laughs> Just call me out, why don't you? Actually, I've got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? Y you want me to do it? <laughs> well, yeah, you know this tour guide stuff isn't my strong suit. Well, that's certainly true, but still, I imagine there must be someone more suitable than me. No, you're good. Oh, please, don't take it like that. It's not that I don't want to show you around or anything. Director Serrano just has this bad habit of pushing his duties onto me, you see. Oh, pfft. And it's just not right. Really letting me have it today, aren't you? That said, this might be my chance to get to know the new student everyone's talking about. Yeah, let's get to know each other before anyone else can. Yeah, yeah. All right, that decides that I will take on this task. Excellent. Now then, let's head straight down this bridge and to the entrance. On you go. Yeah, let's get to know. Let's get to know. What are you talking about? Get this. That barbecue I did? Go on. Go on. Oh, I'll never find out about this barbecue. Here we go. This place looks great. Oh, I can actually talk to these. At our school, you won't cut it if you can't hold your own in a Pokemon battle. So you're the exchange to the people keep talking about. You don't look that strong. Okay, rude. I didn't know you had a bunch of bullies here. Man, no matter how many Pokeballs I have, it's never enough. You should do some, go do some barbecues. Once you've earned the BP, you can buy some nice Pokeballs. Hey, look, Tentacool. Should I have talked to her, maybe? I don't know, maybe. Is there anyone else? Should I talk to anyone else over here before I go? Just head straight to the entrance, Z-Dog. Is this the entrance? I doubt it. <laughs> but I just want to see if anyone else wants to have a chat. Oh, here we go. I forget which biome my next class is in. The polar biome sure is cold. We got to bundle up if we're headed to the polar biome. Burr. All right. Yeah, these guys don't want to talk. What about you? Welcome. Hey, welcome to Blueberry Academy. It's pretty wild the first time you come to school by riding a subway to an undersea elevator, huh? Yeah, dude. Pretty wild. This is something. I don't know what it is, but maybe one day... Maybe that was where we originated from when we came in. I don't even know. All right, now I'm more than prepared. Whoops. How do I get my... Sorry, how do you get... I, oh, I can't. Use emotes. I can't. 
Sorry. How do you get the bike out? Oh, jeez. What did I click? Oh, yeah. Those are my outfits. I was looking at those earlier. All right. We're good. We're good. We, we Let's just go. Sorry. Here we go. Now we're ready to embark. Although I feel like I... Did I back it up a little bit too much? I feel like I, I altered the... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. There it is. There it is. And stretch. Sorry. Controls. You know me. When I go months between playing games, sometimes I don't remember the controls all the way. This is the entrance to Blueberry Academy. Our school puts a great deal of emphasis on the art of Pokemon battling. Yeah, everyone does. We hold official matches on, on this central court right here at the entrance, and any student can freely utilize this court if it's not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say that you'll be battling more here than in any other school. Oh, great. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. Director Serrano, I think perhaps it's fine if you leave the tour to me. Still, it's really relaxing here with the sea breeze blowing over you. Even when no one is battling, but you you often see students lazing about in the stands. Oh, oh, oh! And there's one other quality of our school that you'll likely find very surprising. While Pokemon sometimes ter terrestrialize here. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, I suppose that's not anything special to someone from Paldea, is it? The terrestrial phenomenon was first discovered in the Paldea region, after all. But we've taken things a step further than you and your Terra orbs. We've developed some neat tech ourselves, something that lets us control the t terrestrial phenomenon in our own turf. I bet that piques your interest, doesn't it? Yes, it does, actually. That sounds amazing. Um, sir, I think it'll be easier to understand how all that works after we go to the lower level, if you could put a little pin in that thought. Always thinking ahead. That's our Lacey. My Lacey. No. Oh, you know what? I think it'd be great if the two of you had a battle. W what? Right now? Why not? I'd like to see what Z-Dog here is capable of. And our Lacey is a member of the Elite Four in the League Club we have going here. To say nothing of the influence of her father, one of the Unova region's famed gym leaders. I bet you'll learn a thing or two. Oh, I wish you wouldn't go spreading personal information without asking first. It's just not right. <laughs> What's that hand symbol? <laughs> Give me a second, a good show now, you two. I'm sorry, but there's no negotiating with Director Serrano once he gets an idea in his head. There's no way that he'll move on with the tour until we're, we're, uh, we've given him his battle. Besides, I have to admit, I'm a little excited myself at the chance to battle you. Here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Let's give one a try and get to know each other a little better. All right, sure, why not? Am I ready to do this? I don't know. Here we go, double battle, let's go. I'm ready. She's serious. Pokemon trainer Lacey. All right, cool. All right, not, not a bad duo, I guess. Uh, I suppose I'm representing Blueberry Academy in this battle. I'll try not to disappoint. All right, so they got, uh, those are both level 70, so that's not bad. Minin and, and Plusle. Now, I don't remember what item I'm holding. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, let me just do a low kick at you. I don't, I don't know what types they are. And uh, let's do a flamethrower also at you. Oh, that was terrible. All right, special attack Rose, that's not good. All right, not very effective on O-Dog. Let's do a dis, oh no, that's Bolt Absorb, okay. That's not good. Okay, this is really not good. Uh, A-Dog is suffering here. Let's get this flamethrower going. I don't even know if this is gonna be effective at all. It was not bad. Um, let me, hmm. Let's do Grassy terrain on what does that do? Hold on. Oh, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I probably need to heal. Oh man, one twenty is 
not enough really, but I'll. It's fine. Actually, it's. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Just start start us off on this one. I really didn't look at the moves or what what types these guys are. Good bye to you. Does she have backups? I don't even know. All right, sure. Looks like my plus minus strategy isn't working. Guess it's time to go all out with pure strength. All right, X could drill. All right, so we know mold breaker breaks the mold. So X could drill is what? Let's see, X could drill is gonna be a ground steel type. So we're talking about being weak to water water uh, and fighting water and fighting really is about it so let's see if I can switch out my Pokemon I did not bring out oh man I didn't bring out I don't have either one water or fighting well B dog is dragon ice I don't know oh geez let's just uh well no I do have a low, I, I do have a low kick that's right There you go. Sure. And then uh, Plusel. I don't know what Plusel is. I didn't look up Plusel. Plusel is is an electric. Okay, I should have known that. Electric also is weak to ground, so I don't really have a ground move. I might just use the uh, this on it. Sure, why not? Iron Head, watch out. Oh gosh, no, super effective, no, no, dang it, oh dog. It's okay, we'll get you back in a second, probably, maybe. Discharge, I don't like this discharge move. All right, I'm, okay. Paralyzed, maybe unable to move, maybe I'll throw, let's see, I'll, I'll still do armor cannon. That wasn't bad. Uh, my defense fell. I'm probably going to switch him out since he's paralyzed anyway. And then, so let's bring out... Uh, let's bring out... B-Dog. I don't know if this will work. But I have a, uh, a dark move that I might be able to pull off. No, steel's not good against it. But maybe I could do... And, you know, Exedril being the ground, the ground steel is so tough to deal with. Water is really all I have. I don't have a water move. And dragon uh, steel doesn't is not affected by dragon ice. Uh, it, it's, I mean, everything I have... Is, so I'll just use it against... Uh, let's do crunch against, uh, against you. <laughs> And then let me switch out a dog. Maybe I could do. Jeez Louise, ground or fighting or fire. Um, but the but the uh, well, I guess fire. I could have done fire, dude. Let me just switch out this really quick. Only seventy three. We'll switch it up a little bit. Don't worry. I just don't want to lose this first fight. That'll be terrible. <laughs> All right, Raichu's in the Exedril, sweetie. Let's shank them to their core. Now I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm hoping the fly will let me out of here. But if Exedril just attacks me, then it's not gonna. That's what I was worried about. I was hoping to just get the flying off. All right, ah, uh, come on, dude. There you go. Plusle's gone. I would like to use this opportunity to heal a dog. Whoa, what am I looking at here? Oh, okay, sure, bring out T-Dog. I don't know, I'm gonna try to heal a dog while I'm doing this though, so I can bring him out. Is she not, is she not gonna bring out anybody? She has. No, she doesn't have any more. Great. 
Uh, this guy is horrible. Uh, let's actually let's use the uh, the max potion on a dog for a fire move, maybe. And then you know, steel versus steel, you know, not a big deal. But bug though. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, fairy though. Yeah. Everything blocks. It. I don't know why I brought this guy in. <laughs> I don't know why I brought him in. Let's just use this hammer. I don't even care. I don't even care. I should have brought an A dog. What am I thinking? That wasn't the worst, but it high horsepower against me is gonna kill me. Great. Cool. Oh boy. Well, here comes A dog, who is paralyzed, by the way. May not be able to pull this off, but I'm hoping maybe I can use a, uh, in my bag, there could be a, uh, what will, what will get rid of, uh, antidote? That's poison. Paralyze heal. Use that on A-Dog. And then A-Dog is gonna do just a big ol' cannon on you, x drill. If you let me, unless you high horse powers me or whatever, I don't know. Let's go, let's go. Yes! Yes! Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, would you look at that? You go right after those type weaknesses with precision, don't you? I'm supposed to. All right, there we go. There we go. And we leveled up a dog. Don't be so sad. Well, you beat me soundly. So true. Um, spectacular, you really are quite skilled. I wish I could have seen you terrestrialize one of your Pokemon, though. I'd love to see how someone from Paldea does it. The students here at Blueberry Academy were only recently issued Terra Orbs, so I hope you'll be able to teach us more about them. Well done to the both of you. You really battled it out Blueberry style. Speaking of style, I forgot I had a uniform for you. You'll feel like you fit right in as soon as you're dressing the part. All right, sure, I'll put on the uniform. I'll fit in, I'll conform. With my uniform. Do I have a different hairstyle though? It suits you beautifully. Now what's that? Now that's what I call fashion. Oh, and you can take this as well. Indigo style card. Great. Okay. This should give you a few more options when you visit shops and salons and such in Paldea. Now that you look the part and hopefully feel it too, why don't we head into the school? You can pick where you want to go from the gates over there. Come on, I can show you the pride of Blueberry Academy, our world-famous terrarium. All right, I can do that. Can I change my hair here? Or do I have to go to, like, a hair shop or whatever? Uh, yes, yeah, shoes, gloves, backpacks. Can I just wear a hat? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll have to wait till I get to a hair shop to change my hair. So, wait, where are we going? Uh, anyone else want to want to have a chat before I uh, do anything else? Doesn't seem like these guys are in a chatty mood. I saw it. I saw you battle with Lacey. I'd never seen some of those Pokemon before. This court's used for official BB League battles. You should see how packed the seats get when there's a championship match. Question. Okay, they're all healed. Now, what I want to do, I think I want to switch out T-Dog. So T-Dog is like a fair, fairy steel. And this is a fighting steel. I like T Dog a lot. I worked hard, but uh, you know I have a fairy move in H Dog. The play rough is the same thing. Um, I might just I might bring in my new shiny Lucario instead of T Dog. I can't rename shiny Lucario, but whatever. Same thing happened with Raichu. And then uh, I don't get it. I just can't get my head around the material in Rock Type Studies too. Why not try catching a Rhyhorn in the Savannah biome? Double battles. Here at Blueberry Academy, it's double battles or nothing. I guess that's probably because they open up your strategic options. All right. And I go... Where do you want to go? The terrarium. Everyone wants me to go to the terrarium, right? I guess so. So here we are. Going to the terrarium. Whoa. Now this looks like a really nice, serene, calm place. All right, let's go. Be 
Beautiful. This is it, the park beneath the sea that has gained renown around the world. Our very own terrarium. We may be underwater, but the projectors built into the walls and ceiling make it feel like we've ac we're actually outside, don't they? We've been able to create a comfortable environment for Pokemon through technology. I designed all this myself, and believe me, it wasn't cheap. Within this dome, there are four distinct biomes. That's cool. Here we have the nice and toasty subtropical savanna biome. Then off to your right, you can see the breezy tropical coastline biome. Further out to your left, you'll see the craggy, crunchy, rugged canyon biome. Wow, yeah. Last but not least, way out in the distance, we have the arctic and snowy polar biome. Each biome's air temperature and humidity levels are regulated with the utmost care. That's why you can find completely different Pokemon species living in each area. We sure put a lot of effort into it. Tell me, Z-Dog, biome, which biome tickles your fancy off the bat? Uh, the coastal biome. Goodness, really? It seems you and I will get along just great, then that's my favorite too. Oh, I picked right. Lucky me. The breezy atmosphere is just so calming. If you need to heal up your team while you're down here, feel free to use the self-serve healing. Machines <laughs> we've installed around the terrarium. Now then, Director Serrano, can you explain to us why crystals form here and how the wild Pokemon are able to terrestrialize? I, uh, huh? But don't you know already, Lacey, that... Oh, I get it. You want me to do the talking. In that case, let me show you. The reason is actually right above our heads. Oh, wow, yeah. That there is a terrarium core which presides over all that happens in the terrarium. It contains a fluid that we've jam-packed full of a special material from Paldea. It's constantly emitting t uh, terrestrial energy. That's what allows Pokemon to terrestrialize in the dome. Wonderful. Well said, sir. That's exactly right. Though, I still don't know what that special material is within the terrarium core itself. It's never been shared publicly, has it? Oh, you want to know? Well, in fact, it's... It's... All right. Now, what was it? I've plumb forgotten. Briar put all of it together, so I'm not certain myself. That's what I thought you might say. There's a chime. Practical battle class will commence shortly in the coastal biome. Students participating in this class should make their way to the coastal biome now. All right, great. Oh, it looks like you're just in time to see a class session too. This is too good of a chance to pass up. Won't you join us, Z-Dog? You can get your first taste of our school's classes. Yes. Teehee, I do love to see that sort of passion for education. I'll go ahead and register the terrarium map to your Rotom phone for you. It looks kind of big, but not that big. It's hard to tell. The terrarium map has been added. Okay, great. It's fun to take a stroll through the terrarium on your own, and I think I'd be it'd be more of a hassle. I'd be more of a hassle than anything if you had me holding your hand. Now you can hold my hand. So yeah, that settles it. Please find your way to the class site in the coastal biome on your own. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like I'm needed here. Wait, sir, you don't. But I've, I've made sure that a dorm room has been all set up for you, Z-Dog, so don't forget to give it a visit later. Oh, yes, and one thing. Could you open up your Pokedex app for me? All right, the Blueberry Pokedex. Great. Catch as many Pokemon here in the terrarium as you please. Don't be afraid to go Saws Buck Wild. Oh, I get it. Buck Wild. <laughs> it's your student life here at Blueberry Academy, so remember to live it up to the fullest. And there he goes. Well, you can at least count on me to be around when you need me, so there's no call for concern. It's probably time we both head to class. I'll be waiting for you to join us at the coastal biome. All right, I'll go find it, I guess. Bye. All right. Off she goes. And, uh, yeah. Looks not too shabby. This is the Savannah biome. Oh, dear. 
I love the Savannah Biome because it's where you can find uh, Blitzel, and Blitzel's the greatest. You'll find different Pokemon if you cross over into one of the other biomes. Uh, what are these? These are vending machines? What do we got here? Probably more max potions, honestly, eventually. But I think we're okay for the moment. I'm good, thanks. Good luck with your daily studies. Heal them up. If you use a machine next to me here, you can get your Pokemon healed in a jiffy. Well, mine are already healed, I believe. Challenging the Elite Four. You can face members of the Elite Four on the battle court in their plazas. Students can even, can't even challenge the Elite Four until they're high enough rank in the BB League. Which, uh, sorry, which button is my, is my bike? I totally don't remember. Sorry, still hitting buttons. I don't remember which button. Wait, stop. Back out, back out, back out, back out. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I'm out. I don't want to. That guy's asleep. Oh dear, there's a lot. How about doing a double battle? Why not? Start us off strong with you, against you. Think you're good at double battles? Why don't you test that theory by battling me? All right, we'll test it out. We'll see what's up, dude. Darius the student. Now, I don't know if these are two the, the two that I want to have. All right, these guys aren't so bad. Now, I've already seen these guys before, right? So I mean, like, it's not gonna be a big deal fighting them, but it doesn't tell us. Volibu it should tell us. I Maybe I haven't seen them before. But uh, Volibi is going to be a dark flying, thus uh, weak to fighting. Oh wait, no, flying cancels that out. Uh, so weak to ice and electric. All right, but also weak to bug, right? Flying, no, bug is canceled out as well. Rock, yeah, rock. What was it, rock? And electric and ice. And fairy. Rock, electric, ice, fairy. What's this? Was that a rock? Electric, ice, fairy. Uh, and then, oh, d Dodu. Let's see what Dodu is all about. I should have looked up Doduo. Dodu. Uh, it's just a normal flying. So flying is going to be weak to electric or ice or rock don't have those I'll just do an arm cannon on you just in case you are still alive not alive super effective good oh well that'll pass over to the next one lunge whoa what the heck all right fine good riddance all right That wasn't so bad. You don't have to tell me twice. You're an ace at double battles. All right. So. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and heal. Heal him up. Heal him. Might as well, right? All right, and then this was over here. Helping hand. Stay away from me, Pokemon. Another double battle coming up. I don't feel like doing my homework. I really don't want to do my homework, so I ended up coming here to the terrarium. Let's do it, my friend. Michael the student. Thing out shield on. Okay, so I bet fire will work really well against the bug one, maybe, unless I'm misreading it. How come the weaknesses aren't listed? Anyway, uh, Vibrava is gonna be what? Vibrava is going to be a. Oh, it's not even a bug. It's a ground dragon. So a ground dragon is gonna be weak to water, grass, 
and ice, but all of those... Oh, ice is the particular one that is really good against it. Um, uh, or a dragon or a fairy move. I don't have a fairy move, I don't think. Uh, shield on is going to be weak to... Well, shield on is a rock steel. So, um, you know, we're talking about being weak to water and fighting. I really feel like I'm just not... This is not the Pokemon for me. Let's, uh, let's switch out Pokemon. Let's bring out Lucario. Let's also bring out... Uh, B-Dog. Oh, I didn't do... I didn't actually switch out Lucario, did I? My bad. Go Lucario. Shiny Lucario. And then... Uh, Speed dogs come out. Great. Okay, that, that did work. All right, boom burst. All right, not not terrible on me. These are all group attacks, dude, but they're not super effective on us. All right, so like I said, Vibrava. If we're talking about Vibrava, I mean not Vibrava, Shield on. Being the rock steel. Again, just looking at it one more time. Uh, water. Oh no, ice against the dragon, right? And then water against. Uh, oh, and he doesn't have. They both have. Oh, I forgot they don't have water. I'm so confused. Well, let's do another one. Here we go. Double ice. Ow! Dragon versus dragon. Not good. Not good. All right, that was super effective. So Shiny Lucario has ice. Interesting. I might need a water guy or something. Come on, B dog. Let's. Oof. Uh, here. Let's just hit him. Steel is. This one's fine. Sure. Good. Super effective. Got him out of the, the picture. And B Dog leveled up. Even getting beat by you doesn't make me want to go deal with my homework. All right, well, go do your homework. You need to. You need to learn and study and stuff. Whoa, get away from me, guys. All right, so here's my question. Uh, what was my question? Let me go back and heal. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going back to heal. All right, let me... Uh, I want to look at my Pokemon and see kind of what, I'm, what I have right now. Heal them up. Because uh, there might be some overlap that I don't necessarily want to have. With him having an ice move and then, you know, really the only benefit there. Uh, let me take a look at my boxes. So, El, El Lucario has an ice fighting and steel. B-Dog has ice, dragon, and dark. Which is fine. Um... Rock fighting. There is a little bit, a little bit overlap with the with that there. Um. Right, Chu has also a steel move. Maybe I didn't really need Lucario, but whatever. Let's take a look. Steel. I would like someone who has water, but I don't think I have anybody who's really good at it. That I would... I mean, this guy... No. I don't really have a, a water type at all. Alright, whatever. We're fine right now. We're fine. Let's go back. My bad. 
I'm heading, if we look at the map, I'm heading, I think the right way. Let's go to the map really quick. Wrong button. How do I, oh, there we go, map, sorry. And I am, I'm heading. Where am I heading? Oh, I see. There's a central plaza. I'm going over. This is the coastal biome. So, yeah, I am heading the right way. I just got to go to the coastal biome. All right. We'll make it. We'll make it. And it's north, or is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. All right. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, experience candy. Nice. Going to probably be needing that a little bit later. Let me check up here at this little uh, landmark. Another guy who might want to fight. Protect. So wait, is this the coastal biome? Are we, are we coming in here? What? Get out of here, little guy. Oh, and imitate. Intimidate, I mean. Uh, there we go. Low kick. Super effective. Let's just take him out. Goodbye. I'll take the free experience. Why not? I basically stepped on him, and he's like, hey, don't fight me. That was no experience at all, Harley. All right. It's fine. I don't mind exploring and gathering a few things here and there. Knock off. Psychic Terra Shard. I have 12 of those now. Light screen. There's a little guys in there. Elixir. Oh, so this is the dividing wall, right? All right, where am I? Where am I headed to? Where? This is the coastal area, right? And she's got to be over here somewhere, relaxing, right? Let me take a look, another little peek at the map. If I could just hit the button the first time. Is it not marked on my map? I could, I could, I could mark it. There we go. All right, cool. Everyone's chilling over here. So let's go see what she has in store for us in the coastal biome. We got some fighting done, but. You know, I also want to get a little bit of lore, a little bit of story. Wow, look at this place. Is this the class? Guess so. Oh, Z Dog. Oh, she's whispering in my ear. You didn't have any trouble finding the place. It was oh let me whisper back. No, babe. Say again, I didn't quite catch that. Alola, everybody. Shall we get started? Looks like we have a new face with us today. I'm sure you're all enjoying the tropical climb we've recreated here at the coastal biome. But remember, it's really for the many Pokemon you'll find living here, adapted for such weather. One such species has grown exceptionally larger than it might in other regions, thanks to all uh, the light it's exposed to here. That's right, certain species of Pokemon can have completely different appearances depending on the region. We call this variation a regional form. And that brings us to today's task. i like each of you to catch one of these Pokemon, specifically an Alolan form Pokemon. When you've got one, come report to me. Now get catching. What? Many of our classes at Blueberry Academy are practical ones like this. So off you go, don't overthink it, just do your best for this first class. All right. Where? How do I know like what form is which? 
There are vending machines at the rest areas in the terrarium. They sell all kinds of Pokeballs. Where would be... Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know which ones would be a lowland form. Like, how would I know? Like, do any of these stand out to anybody or what? No thoughts, just vibes. Oh, we're gonna fight. I'm just vibing, you? Let's vibe. You're challenged by Alyssa, the student. Slow poke, okay, yeah, so we got, oh dog and a dog. Super effective against you. Uh, whatever. Ha! Got him. Oh no, dog! But sturdy, he endured the hit. If he can live through it, fine. All right, that was a good one hit. A dog's defense fell because of that. If I can, I'll switch out. Uh, let me switch out for like Lucario or something. We'll just get this done because I'm going to heal right back up. I think this is like literally my first shiny in this game. Excellent. Huh, I guess you managed to keep your focus. I guess I did, didn't I? I literally don't know what a Lolan form is of any of these. I got a mild mint. Nothing too spicy for me. All right, let's think about this. How will I know it's in a lowland form? <laughs> All right, let me just go catch a Pokemon. Wait, what, does she have anything to say? Do you know what kind of Pokemon it is you're supposed to be looking for? I suppose the best known Alolan form might be the Alolan ex uh, Executor with its long, long neck. I don't know what I'm looking for. Huh. I mean, I was hoping just to kind of keep it close, you know. Are these guys a Lolan? I'll try it. I don't know if they are or not. Uh, battle. Sit him with this cudgel, see what happens. <laughs> All right, Vigoroth. I don't think that's one of them. This guy might want to fight me too. All right, here we go. I'm raising a lowland form Pokemon. Look, well, they, he'll give me a little peek as to what I might be looking for then. Leo the student. Diglett and Grimer, okay. Yeah, those look good. Sure, um, doesn't tell me anything about uh, Grimer. Sure, hit Grimer. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, I'm just like taking my time because it doesn't matter. I can just go heal him. Good hit. Great hit. Wonderful hit. And then, oh, he's going to use Dig. Watch out. Great. I can't hit anybody with a side shock then. 
Oh, okay. Executor. Where? Okay, where is this guy? I I don't know where. Okay. Good hit. Oh, Dig's gonna hit me. Sure. Unfortunately, I won't be able to collect this one. Hit him. Alright. Oh, target the wrong guy. Whatever. Good. Not very effective, but I'm strong, so that's what really matters. Oof. Oh, dog took a hit. Take him side shock right at ya. Again, not very effective, but good enough, honestly. Okay, so Leo the student, sure. Those are those are alone forms, all right. I uh, thank you for that display. <clears throat> I'll be on the lookout. Let's go take a look. I mean, this place is large. So if I find any of those things, I'll, I'll try to capture them. No, get out of here. Uh, let me just run. Get out of here. All right. Oh, here's what I should do. I should look at the map, right? That would be helpful. Uh. Did it show where things are? Huh. All right, I'll be on the prowl. I gotta look at like three Pokemon. Uh, hey guys. Is this one? Yeah, this is one. There you go. Give me this one. Just don't kill him instantly. That would be helpful if you just don't kill the Grimer. Let's just do a slam. It's effective, but hopefully it's not super effective. Oh, great, great. Oof. All right, all right, I just need a Pokeball then, right? What, why'd he faint? Get out of here, guys. Why did he faint? I don't need you to be fainting on me. Here we go. Uh. Pokeball, great, ultra, master, premier, net, nest, dusk, timer, quick ball. Let's just try a quick ball. Maybe it's since, you know, just, just get him. Just get him. Put him in. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm so glad that worked. And then let's get out of here. Go back to where we came from. And I guess this is in a lowland form. No nickname for you. Send in my boxes, I guess. All right, let's let's go. Great. Uh, where are we where are we going to? Back over here. There's one too. And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Uh, let's see, I got you what you came, what you wanted, I think. I think. Did you manage to catch an Alolan form Pokemon for me? Yes. It is probably the Grimer. That's one, all right. You have, without a doubt, got yourself an Alolan Grimer. See, Grimer were brought over to Alola to solve the garbage disposal problems there. Over time, the Grimer ended up in this form. 
Wait, Z Dog, you already finished the assignment? I was really motivated. So battling isn't your only talent then. You've got a knack for catching Pokemon too. It's easy, easy to see how high level the students must be at Naranja Academy. All right, everyone, gather around. We're all out of time for today, so that'll have to be it for our class session. If you didn't manage to catch a Pokemon in time, they'll be that'll be your homework to complete before our next session. Class dismissed. Man, really guess I'm stuck with homework. So, Z-Dog, what did you think of your first Blueberry class? It was fun, <laughs> I guess. Really? It makes me so happy to hear that. Oh, I was supposed to go make an appearance at the club room. Shoot! I'm afraid this will have to be the end of our little tour, but let me leave you with one more tip. Here at Blueberry, we have lots of extracurricular tasks for you to do called Blueberry Quests, or just BBQs for short. They're sort of like missions about the, that the school assigns the students out and about in the terrarium. You might be asked to have your Pokemon do some auto battles or to catch specific Pokemon, those sorts of things. You never know what the next BBQ might be or where, where you'll need to go to carry it out. But if you could do what's asked of you, you'll earn Blueberry Points, also called BP. BP is kind of a school currency you can use in the cafeteria or the school store. You might be able to use it for club activities in the future, too. Anyway, the long and short of it is that you should always do BBQs and get yourself BP. Alright, BBQs! She just told me. Three quests will be displayed at default. Cool. And that's it from me. Sorry for having to dash, but I really must be off now. Enjoy your time at Blueberry Academy. All right. I'm getting a call. It's Carmine. Hey, this is Z-Dog's phone, right? It's me, Carmine. I heard the news. You got picked for Blueberry Academy's exchange program, right? Yes. Ha! One of my teachers told me never thought we'd be fellow students of BB Academy. Anyway, you should totally come show your face. It's been too long already. Now let me think. Where could we meet up? Oh, have you been to the terrarium? There's a space called the Central Plaza right in the center of the dome. I'll meet you there. Don't keep me waiting if you know what's good for you. Carmine, I, can't, I will never keep you waiting. Let's go. Meet up with Carmine for sure. Hold on. That guy wanted to say something. I don't even know if I need to heal, but that guy wanted to say something. I'm pretty sure that guy wanted to say something, so. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get me out of here. Been having Pokemon battles? Hey there, exchange student. Your friendly neighborhood guidance counselor here. Hope it doesn't feel too invasive for me to ask. Are you keeping up with your Pokemon battles? Here at Blueberry Academy, we, we try to get the students excited to battle each other, which means I'll give you BP for battling the students here. Then more battles, the more battles, the more BP. So why don't you try to defeat five students here in the coastal biome? All right. So far, you've defeated two. Come see me again once you defeat defeated five, okay? Okay, I can do that, but I really want to meet Carmine. So where is the center point here? Let me pull up the map. And the center point is going to be way over here. Reunion with Carmine. Cannot wait. Uh, and then that's that. Okay, that's that way. All right, here we go. Excuse me. It's kind of dark, so hope I don't stumble upon any Pokemon accidentally. I think if I just get on that little uh, bridge thing, it should be fine. Like stars in the sky. All right. We we whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on one second. Here we are. I think if I just roll around on this uh, wall here, should be fine. All right. I'm just getting there as quickly as I can, honestly. Oh wait, I have a glide, don't I? Probably forgot about the glide. 
Oh wow, this middle place looks quite incredible. Whoa, what in the world? Wow. This looks like something. Carmine, hello, it's me. Your Z dog. So yeah, things are a bit rough right now. I couldn't agree more. Ah, you have a visitor, Carmine. Long time no see, Z dog. I bet you missed me, huh? Yes. Hey, <laughs> honesty is the best policy, huh? What is that? Time for me to go. Nice seeing you, Carmine. So long. Okay, see you around. That's one of my classmates. She's an interesting one. Hmm, speaking of classmates, it feels kind of weird seeing you here in my school. And look at you. You haven't changed at all since we last met. As for me, well, I've been helping Miss Briar with her research. We've been to all sorts of different regions. It's made my Pokemon a lot stronger than they were the last time we battled. <laughs> you want to see? Oh, you totally want to see. Well, we have a battle court right here, so get into position. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Time to get into position. All right, hopefully I can take her down. Let's see. Okay, you you ready for a double battle? You won't know what hit you. Let's do it. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Carmine. Mighty Ina. Okay, great. These guys are easy, right? Now, do I have knowledge of their weaknesses? I'll give you a special treat since you came all this way. Get ready to eat Terrarium Dirt. Rude. Oh, hey, Ogre Pond. Oh, you must have really missed me, huh? What, you know? What? 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 How does she know? Oh, of course she knows. <laughs> of course she knows. <laughs> of course she knows. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how does she know? Oh, yeah, the whole last DLC. Uh, low kick. Uh, what's the super effective against Mightyena? Sure. And then uh, armor cannon against two cannon? I don't know. Hit him. Bam! Oh, that's not done for. All right, whatever. We'll do armor cannon. Eesh. They're both still alive. That's okay. Super Fang is gonna hurt though. Not too bad. Flame Charge. Uh, let's just do a little repeat of that. Here we go. We're doing double battles the whole time. All right, here we go. Let's hit him. Hit him with it. All right. We're in a good spot. Probably. But I'm probably going to have to get rid of A-Dog here because my special defense is too low. Oh, that was it. Oh, no. Okay. No, I thought it was it. Okay. Scrafty. And Sinista. Sinista. Okay. Ah, intimidating me all the time. Fine. I'm a little confused because it says low kick is super effective, but it's not marked. That's effective. That's effective. Has no effect. I guess we low kick this guy? I don't know. Here we go. This might work. That's it. I'm ready to go all out. Time for me to Terra it up. Oh, no. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready for this. Honestly, I wasn't. Look at her hair. That's so cool. Great. Okay, well, let's just see how this goes. I'm not super excited about this because I might die. Or this might just... I might take him out. Who knows? Low kick. That was not good. That was, was super effective, but... Hey, stop that. Why don't you use one of those not very effective moves sometimes? All right, armor cannon... Oh, what is he eating? What is that? What is that? What is that? 
Oh, pretty good. I'm going to so die, though, once I get hit. All right. The berry was used up. Stun Spore, watch out. Oh, we avoided the attack. Great. Crunch and gone. I knew it. I just knew it. That's okay. Um, who are we going to bring out? We got some uh, super... Let's do a fighting move here. Or, or fly. Let's do fly. Super effective fly, maybe. Just uh, like Raichu will be here, but not like on the field the whole time. I don't know. Effective? Whatever. Whoop! bam Good luck with your terrestrialized thing. I haven't done it yet, but I might. Now the fly, I, I think I'm going to be out of here. I'm a little bit worried about this guy, though. Scrafty. Oh, got me. Got me. That's not great. Well, Scrafty is... Is what, exactly? Scrafty is going to be a dark fighting. So, if we're looking at dark, it's going to be weak to fighting. Weak to... Psychic. And flying. Flying works. Here we go. Low kick. Not terrible. Oh, finish him off. There we go. Super effective. Now, does she have any more that wants to come out here? No, not at this time. She's shocked. That did not go the way I had planned. Ah, I got so much stronger once I could ter terrestrialize my Pokemon, but you just had to go and get even stronger, didn't you? You still don't hold back in battles, huh? Another thing that hasn't changed a bit. Hey, by the way, have you uh, run into Kiki yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, never mind. If you haven't seen him yet, it's fine. That boy, man. Are you kidding me? What, was this assignment too hard for you too? Wait, that's... Oh, is that... Is that Kiki? I knew it! Oh, that's Kieran. Phew, he almost saw us. He looks different. Oh, it's the same guy, right? Ship your voice down. I thought I told you to train five Pokemon to battle with. So, sorry, things have been really hectic at home this month. Oh, got it. So that means you're just okay being this week forever. That's what I'm hearing. No, no, I... Well, since you're so busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. I'll write your resignation for, from the club for you. I don't need people in my club who don't take it seriously. Oh, wait, Kyrian, I'm sorry. Give me another chance. Oof. Not what you're expecting, right? Kiki looks different, acts different. He hasn't been the same since we got back from the school trip. Well, that was painful to watch. Irk! <laughs> Who is this? If it isn't Carmine and Carmine's new mystery friend, think I might have heard of you, though. Are you the new kid with the wild backstory? What a lovely surprise. Just the annoying bozo I didn't want to run into. Come on now. At least introduce me. This is Drayton. And he's the worst. I believe it. <laughs> he's the strongest trainer at Blueberry Academy. Well, he was at least. Beautiful intro. Thanks. This is Z-Dog. He's here on a foreign exchange program. He's my friend. And what about Kieran? You friends with that guy? Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Oh, I see. That's great. All right, Z-Dog. How about I show you uh, our club room? Huh? Why do you need to do that? You haven't joined any of the clubs we've got here, right? Take it from me. You'll have a way better time here if you join one. We'd love to have such an interesting new member. In fact, we better call dibs now. Come with me. What? Am I jo joining a club? Hey, hold on. Gah, see? I told you he was the worst. Look at him. He's just assuming we'll go along with whatever. 
I'm going with you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to like a club thing or something. I don't know. I don't know what this is. And here we are. Hey, you sure this is a good idea? You know, because because of Kieran? Nah, don't worry. He won't show up here anytime soon. If you say so. This is a nice club. Anyway, this is the base of operations for the League Club. On behalf of the whole club, glad you're here. What's this League Club? <laughs> glad you asked. We Blueberry Academy students have our own Pokemon battle ranking system, the BB League. Here in the League Club, we battle each other to train up so that we can climb the ranks. We win, we lose, we have a good old rowdy time, such as our humble club in a nutshell. You're not wrong, but seriously, this is how you explain it to new people? Yep, though I guess we're having less of a good old rowdy time than usual lately. I'm a member, member of the club too. I don't show up to the club room very much though. Just FYI, the top four Pokemon trainers in this BB League are called the BB League Elite Four. And this annoying toothpaste-haired bozo is one of them, so is that girl you saw with me at the terrarium earlier? So is that girl. Okay, yeah. Too bad you didn't make the cut, Carmine. I've just been too busy with extracurricular stuff. I haven't had time for league matches. If we're talking actual skill, I'm way above any of the Elite Four. <laughs> That's no lie. What you think, Z-Dog? Fun club, huh? Yeah, sure, yes. Oh, I can feel the enthusiasm. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, think that takes care of it. You're in on, in on a trial basis. Huh, what do you mean trial basis? You heard me. Far as the Draster is concerned, we're clubmates now. Trial basis clubmates. So now you can use this club room freely and do whatever with the stuff here. Check out the computer over there too. It's super helpful. It lets you use your BP to support kids in other clubs. They'll return the favor in different ways. Using the PC in the League Club Room, uh, you can help support the efforts of other clubs by donating BP to them. In return, you'll reap all kinds of rewards, such as new functions for your cam wrap, new ways to redecorate the club room. Here, give it a shot, and you'll see what I mean. All right, thanks. Oh, I got 200 BP, that's great. Try sending that to Mitch in the baseball club. He can help you out with, the, with your throwing form. Uh, all right. Let's see, contribute BP to uh, Mitch in the baseball club. It's a lot of BP, but sure, uh, the following new throwing styles will become smug and elegant. Want cool new ways to throw Pokeballs? Let's spitball together. Okay, sure. Why not? And then he gave me, uh, thanks for the support, Z Dog. Wish we could do it in person, but let's try pitching some ideas for new ways to throw. See, I was thinking I could hold my hand like this, get me? Then I swing my leg and yeah! Yeah, you know what? I think that'll work. Talking through this with you really helped. We've come up with a real home run here. If you ever want to change how you throw your Pokeball, just give me another call. All right, throwing styles, cool. Cool, I mean, that's cool, sure. Oh, whoa, you did it, not bad for a first time. That'll teach me to doubt your skills. Here, I've got a really nice present for you. From one charming catch to another. A catching charm. All right, what does that do? Uh, you're more likely you'll get a critical catch. That's cool. You can have this too. Put it on and you'll look just like the Drayster. League club uniform. All right. Anyway, feel free to computer it up any way you want. Like I said, we're trial basis club mates now. And that's not all. For a limited time, you can have as many of these snacks as you want. Those snacks are all yours, Dray Drayton Snacks. You could leave around open and half finished. I want to go near any of them. Who knows how long they've been sitting around. All that explaining left me starving. I think I'm going to head over to the cafeteria. If you want to join, officially join us, maybe we can have a cafeteria date to talk details. A what? Hey, I'm not dating this guy. I'm all yours, Carmine. <laughs> It'll be seeing ya. Ah, uh, that bozo. Seriously, what is his problem? A cafeteria date? What's he even mean by that? Well, a date is... Now I know what a date is. Were you seriously about to explain it to me? Sorry. B b being in here puts me on edge. Let's go somewhere else. Someplace people won't bother us. I know. Let's go to your room. Yes! So, yeah, yes. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Let's go to my room. Let me check this place out, though, really quick. 
Pikachu and I are doing our best to fight our way to the up to BB League. My Taroke loves this treadmill. Good. Let's go find my room. My dorm room. Here we go. Room for two. Well, it looks like this is your room. Most BB students live in the dorms, you know. So what do you think? How's it compared to the dorm rooms back at your school? About the same. So new. Let's, let's be optimistic. <laughs> you bet it's new. State of the art, in fact. You can come have a look at my room later, too. Yes, if you want. I do. Oh, but you got... I got you distracted. I got... Oh, but I got distracted. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Drayton and, well, Kiki. About Drayton. Oh, Drayton, don't trust that knucklehead. He might seem like a slacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's a real annoying super jerk. He barely even goes to class. He's had to repeat the same year three times. Point is, don't let your guard down around him ever. And there's one more thing I need to tell you about. About Kieran. Kiki as well. You saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, it's like he's become a totally different person. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. He's he's definitely gotten stronger. Drayton used to be the strongest student here, but Kiki beat him. Now that Kiki's the president of the league club and the BB League champion, I guess he must be pretty busy. He barely talks to me anymore. Oh well, he's probably going through a rebellious phase. Kirian's changed, but you, you've stayed the same. If Kirian's down to just one friend these days, I'm glad it's you. Keep sticking with him, you, you, would you? I guess. Thank you. You're going on your date. I mean, you're going to go hang out with Drayton later, right? I go with, but if I don't finish up this report today, I'm really going to be in trouble. I'd love for you to join the league club. But if Drayton gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. All right. Will do. Next episode. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.